guys. Hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday. We love Friday. <laughs> Sweet. Guys, we want to jump on today and talk about, what are we talking about today? Um, who this <laughs> flipping gig is for. That's right, guys. <laughs> who is this for? Have you guys thought about, have you contemplated flipping before, um, making some side income? You guys might love to watch. Oops, sorry, sorry. guys, that uh, camera blurs up everyone's off. Um, have you guys seen our journeys and our stuff that we're doing and wondering, hey, is this for me? Check it out. We're going to go over some tips, some tricks that we can give you guys um, to know if this is a good fit for you for sure. John says hi. Hi, John. What's up, John? So, thanks that you guys are hopping on. We uh, love that you're able to take a couple minutes out of your day. We just thought we'd hop on. This is kind of a last minute. We don't usually do a lot during the day because the kids are here, but yep. so they might jump in at some point. If they knows? interrupt <laughs> us, yeah. But we're, uh, we're here, so we told them, all right, just give us a couple minutes if you can. Um, so yeah, so we're going to hop on and talk about if like, is this flipping gig for you? Yep. So, uh, and if you have questions as we are talking, just throw them in the comments and we'll be sure to get to them. So, yep, exactly. um, I live in Canada. This is work in Canada. We actually have a couple of, um, quite a few people yeah, in Canada that are doing it for in, sure. Uh, flip for you that are in Canada. The shipping's a little bit different just because of the, um, the price difference, but we, people are still doing really good with it. So, yeah. um, so yeah, we'll have to. I have a, a post on that. I'll have to get the link and I'll put it. Um, anyway, so you want to jump in? Yeah, let's do it. So some ways to know if flipping is good for you. Yeah, so. definitely, guys. If you are the person who loves going to thrift stores, if you love going to flea markets, if you love finding stuff on uh, Facebook Marketplace, if you're always hunting for those deals, um, this might be the perfect gig for you. This might be something uh, viable for you guys, not only just to be able to shop as much as you want, but be able to make some money. <laughs> Finding deals. Exactly. <laughs> Turn that shopping addiction into some uh, some income for you. So a side are, income. Are you admitting to a having an addiction? I love finding good deals. So <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. That's what I'm really good at is finding amazing deals. Whether that's Treasure at, hunting. Exactly. Yeah. Whether it's at the flea market, whether it's online apps, whether it's uh, at thrift stores, or even on our nightly walks in the trash. I love finding good deals. a lot deals. of stuff in the trash. We do. So that people just throw away that are perfectly good. It's like, there's 20 bucks, there's 50 bucks sitting right there and yeah. it's in the trash. Sometimes so, $100, sometimes yeah. $200. You yeah. just never know what you're going to find. Um, so yeah, if that is you, if you like finding those deals, this might, might, might be a viable option for you. It might be something fun to jump into for sure, uh, to be able to make some income. And also if you like to upcycle or repurpose, there's like, you know, people, especially now with Pinterest, you see all these such cool ideas, or maybe you just have your own creative mind and you can repurpose things and it might be something that's great for you. You find these old worn out pieces yeah. of furniture and you redo them and it doesn't have to just be furniture. There's a lot of things that you can upcycle and repurpose. Yep. Um, and that might be something that you're interested in too, and you can actually make money doing it. So for sure. Um, yeah, it's cool. So yeah, if you enjoy that as well, it, uh, it, it might be able to turn a hobby that you have into income. Uh, which is always good, especially right now with the craziness that we're going through. Um, yeah, you might need to make a little extra money. So. Yeah, and that's the next part is Sweet. you need a side income. So if you if you need a side can, uh, income and you enjoy doing stuff like that, it definitely could be something for you. Yeah, you yeah of that. course. We have a couple friends actually right now that um, some friends have got laid off. Some friends, uh, their hours have got cut. They're not making as much money as they were. <laughs> Excuse me. They jumped into this uh, flipping biz and they're out there searching on the apps and their thrift stores and all that kind of stuff. So Maybe it is just you just need to make a little extra money right now. If that's the case, uh, this might be a really cool uh, opportunity for you to be able to do that. Um, yeah, because you can either go as little as least amount of time into it. If you have a family, if you're really busy, um, you have the option to do that and just make a little bit, a couple hundred dollars if you want to, or you can jump into it um, feet first and you know start making three, five, ten thousand uh, dollars, whatever it is, whatever wherever you're at that you want to make the money. It's just the time that you pour into the skills to learn it, um, and then then duplicating it and keep doing it. That's that's where it's at. So for somebody starting on the side, how many hours a week would you say would be average for them? Uh, yeah, it all depends on how many hours you have to work. The the more that you in the beginning, you have to work a little bit more. It's just like anything to get yeah, to okay. know the skills. Um, to learn the process and all that kind of stuff. So, but you can make a decent income, a side income with, you know, anywhere from five, seven, 10 hours a, a week, uh, just of a, a side income. Um, yeah, you can easily make some good money. Yeah, we did it on the side forever. And, you know, I mean, you enjoy, it's not really work looking for the stuff. So no. the more no. of the work would be, you know, shipping it out and whatnot and listing it. Um, but we always, you did it in like, 10, 15 hours a week on yeah. the side, and we did decent always on yeah. the side. Now it's more of our full time gig. There's a dog chewing up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's got something. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah. So, and another 
point to that is as far as income it's it's an income that you can create right now like yes. so like this week you could if you need money this week it's something that is very viable exactly you know, yeah you don't it, it's not like you have to go to college you got to go to college for two or three or four years whatever it is to be able to learn the skills to make money you can actually learn this. You can start making money in the first week, uh, learning some of these skills and putting them into practice. Um, and you can do it. Like I said, there's so many different ways to find stuff. There's ways to find free stuff. There's ways to uh, invest in stuff and, uh, and make money like that. So if that's the other thing is there's a very small learning curve to this business and you can start making money very, very quickly. Um, if that's where you're at and you need to make money soon, um, that's, this is, this is a great business to be able to turn, um, objects, turn, uh, anything into cash. That's, what's really cool about it. So you don't have to wait till you have a certification nope. or a, <laughs> something nope. special to go do it. You that's can it. just go do it, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, there was something, uh, Stacey said, yes, it works in Canada. Yep. We have a couple awesome members from Canada. Yep. Um, GF Wells, if you're out walking and you see a large item, would Melissa stay? So like if we go find something for free, not usually, um, um yeah. if it's something, sometimes I've gone up to the door and I asked the people at the door if, uh, it's actually in the trash. Um, and they always say yes. And I asked them if I can push it back up, um, to the house or to the garage until I go get my truck. That's the only other option that I've ever done. Um, if it's something I want really bad, then I will definitely do that. We've done that before for a wheelchair, a power wheelchair that we found. Um, we got it off the side of the road. I think we made Where? four four or $500 for that one. Um, was that? Oh, that was on our walk? Yeah, yeah one of our walks. Right. Um, and I went up to the door, I knocked on the door and asked them if they were throwing it away. They said yes. And I asked them if I could push it back up to the garage um, so I could go get my truck and trailer and come back and grab it. Um, and they were like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. So that's we've done that kind of stuff. Um, a couple times where if you're, the tractor you got not that long ago, or their mower. Exactly. Yeah. I had him push it back up cause he put it out on the side of the road for yeah. free. And, um, I asked him if I could push it back up to the fence until I went and got the, uh, uh, the trailer. So we've done it a couple times for sure. So but sometimes, I mean, usually we'll just come back home and it'll go back in like 15 minutes yeah. and go get it. You know, occasionally it's gone, yeah. but uh, uh, yesterday or today we saw a really nice treadmill that yeah. somebody threw away. And yeah. when we walked past it to get to our downtown area to do our jog, um, when yeah. we came back, it, it was, was already, already gone. gone. So, so. Uh, that's the case. Sometimes you do have to uh, either, you know, ask them if you can take it and move it or uh, go home quickly and get a vehicle to pick it up. So, cause they, they don't always last when they're in the trash. Yeah. So. Um, I've always been mostly buying items from Marshalls and TJ Maxx to flip, but never bought from flea market or garage sales. Definitely should give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have not, we don't really do the, um, arbitrage and like, no. um, buying out clearance and stuff. Um, but we love finding the old yeah. stuff. We like to deal with the used stuff. It's a lot of fun. It, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, they're both a hunt. Like you could, it, and you can make money definitely on both of them. Yeah. Um, but we'd love finding the used stuff that people, you know, people no longer want and then find somebody who wants it again. So it's like finding a treasure and finding a new yeah. owner for that treasure. It's the so. same thing as pulling it out of the trash. You're keeping it from the landfill. It's yeah. going to, it, it, if you don't get it before the trash people come and pick it up, I mean, it's going to the landfill one way or another. So you're recycling it. You're making money. Uh, the whole thing's working out. So it's, it's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So cool. I think, uh, if you guys, what was I going to say? We got a couple of our uh, members on here too. Awesome. And a couple of, uh, of new people I haven't seen. So welcome guys. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. So we also did just open uh, Flipper University yesterday. So yeah. if, you, <laughs> if you're on our email list, you might have got an email yesterday that we opened it. Um, and people have been asking us a lot about opening the freight course separately. That's right. So we decided to go ahead and do that. It's been something we've been working on for a little while. So yeah. we did that. So it's now open and it's something that you can get separately or you can get it combined with Flipper University. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we, we're really excited about that. Yeah. The freight, if you don't know if you want to talk a little bit about freight and why we've chosen to do freight. Yeah, we and Flipper University set up to where it's a kind of beginner intermediate now. Um, and then you also have the freight after that. And we've had a lot of intermediate intermediate people who are flipping, who are doing stuff already. So they know a little bit about it and They've they want to flippers for a while. That's and, it. They want to go to the next level. And, uh, the freight is the next level. That's what took us from a five figure income to a six figure, uh, income is jumping into freight stuff. So, uh, the intermediate people have been, you know, for the last couple of years asking us, Hey, we just want to buy the freight course from you guys. Um, we want to do that. Hey, Husker, get down, get down. Sorry guys, the dogs <laughs> jumping on the bar. Um, yeah, so uh, that's why this has prompted us to do it. We've been trying to do it for a while and just haven't had the time to uh, to split it apart. So now the option is the the beginner, the inter intermediates together. Uh, then the freight is separately, uh, so you can buy either one of them or you can buy the package of both of them. 
um, that's what we have split it to do now. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty much what people have wanted. So we've decided to do it. Um, freight, like I said, it's just to the next level. You learn how to do in the freight course, you learn how to do larger boxes that are not necessarily freight. This can still go FedEx and UPS, um, but they're big boxes um, to FedEx and UPS's limits. Um, and then if it goes over that, that's when you actually go in and you learn how to pallet stuff. You learn how to uh, create the shipping labels. You learn how to do all that kind of stuff in the freight course. So uh, it's a great course and it will take you, I mean, the price of the course, to be honest with you guys, one flip will pay back the course. So it's a great investment for you to learn. Um, it's a, a new skill that will create money for you if you are at that level. So 100%. And we've had lots of people get make that money back with one flip. And, yeah. and the surprising thing is like with freight, when we actually created Flipper You a couple of years ago, we really thought it would be the people that like more like him, like more that that were interested in it. But we've had a lot of women doing free yeah. and it's so cool to see. I love it. Like there's, and I would say 80% of the people doing it are, are female. And yeah. I think that is so cool. And they're amazing. And, they're yeah. making some crazy good money <laughs> at free shipping and, and selling stuff and shipping at freight. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's yeah. amazing to watch people it's do it. It's a lot of fun to see. So, so, and yeah, people making a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars on one flip. And you can do that whenever the thing is, and kind of the basis of our whole business is we're finding things in a local market. So you're finding th things that people won't ship because they're afraid to ship it. So you're finding, you get it at a great deal because they can't sell it to a bigger market. Yep. Well, you are going to be able to ship it. So now you can take it from your local market, put it on a bigger market like eBay and offer shipping. And now you're open to so many more people and you can ask more money yep, because the limit, yeah, for sure. it's, there's just so many more people that would want your item. So and that's why, you know, and if people would, take it from local to ship it. People are like, well, why aren't they making the money that if they have that item, but they don't want to ship it. So, and that is the key, the biggest key factor. So yeah. If you to talk no, about uh, that. shipping is not the scariest thing ever guys. It, once you have a guideline, once you learn how to do it and you get some practice at it, it's not the scariest thing ever. There's yeah. ways to protect yourself um, to where you're not going to lose money, where you're going to package stuff properly and it's going to be covered. And yeah, there's just proper ways to do it uh, that you don't have to be scared of it, whether it's freight, whether it's, uh, big boxes with UPS, FedEx, and USPS, whatever it is, uh, there's proper ways to do it. And when you learn those ways, yeah, the sky's the limit on how much money you can actually make in this business. So, yeah, Stacy just commented, highly recommend it. I pretty much quit my nursing job and I'm flipping full time. Yeah, she's been killing it lately. Yeah. <laughs> she was like four dollars away from ten grand last month. Yeah, <laughs> she like, is. We're I'm hoping like, four dollars. Come on. <laughs> she is uh, at the end of the year. Her goal is right now, and she, I don't know if she's publicized it or not, but she's trying to get to a hundred thousand dollars in profit, or a hundred thousand um, dollars in sales. Yeah. In sales um, since she started, what was it, a year and a half ago? Yeah. Something like that. So uh, Stacy's amazing. I think she had one of her best weeks or uh, months last month. I don't remember, yeah. but she's making a killing at flipping stuff. And, and it's she's, the bigger stuff. It so. is. It is. She's making some great money at it. So yeah, we're very uh, impressed and very excited to watch uh, her journey uh, with this uh, this business as well. So yeah. it's awesome. So I put uh, the link to Flip For You if you do want to check it out. Um, if you're not already a member, there's some people that are already members on there. But um, yeah, check it out. We'd love to see you in our members group. We do have a members group that comes along with it. Um, that's and, one of the yeah. most important things guys, because we even have people who ask us, how do you know, how do you find these amazing deals? Guys, we have a members group of over like 600 people. Those people are active in the group when they're finding stuff all over the U S and Canada. We have some people in England. We have places all over when they're finding stuff and selling it, they're posting in the group what they're doing. Um, and it gives you another resource to actually be in your local area looking for those items. So Stacy's in Arizona, when she posts something that she finds, or she flips, I'm in Orlando, I'm down here in Florida. I look up the same exact thing and I try to find it in my local area and then I am able to find those items and flip them. So it's a community working together. It's really, really cool. Melissa and I absolutely love uh, the Facebook community that we've built. It's just been amazing. So, so fun. Um, Adriana asks, what's your opinion of using social media as part of the flipping business? Should that be something to think about, like making YouTube videos and Instagram posts, et cetera? Um, there are a lot of people who sell stuff on Instagram not as much YouTube. If you're looking at it, social media standpoint to sell, um, Instagram people do like, there's a, one of my nieces actually that their school did a whole, like it just got trendy to go through your closet and everybody was selling stuff out of their closet. And so you can't, I mean, you, and a lot of people do sell on Instagram. So if you're trying to do that, or if you're trying to, you know, <coughs> help people or teach people then that's a little bit different than selling your stuff. But um, I would say Instagram is better than you YouTube for that. If you're trying to sell your, um, sell, sell your items. So yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what I, you're asking. I don't know social media that well. Melissa does a lot of, well, all of our <laughs> social media pretty much. So, 
I know how to find awesome deals and I know how to sell on Facebook marketplace for some, and that's pretty much it now. <laughs> the rest of uh, yeah, our posts and stuff, Melissa does them all. So that's, uh, that's how it works. So I don't know social media that well. I don't know the ups and the downs of trying to use it as a business. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we don't post like we don't post for sale. We thought about doing it on our blog at one point, like some of our items for sale, but we don't. Um, but I mean, it, it, you could no. like if you didn't want, but eBay just reaches so That's many people. So it's the easiest one to it sell is. on. Um, and then Mercari and Poshmark too are also really good. Like yeah. if you have different items, um, our bigger stuff though, um, you can't ship on Mercari. So you'd have to do eBay. Yeah. So, um, cool. I like creating a, a brand. Yeah. I mean, definitely if you wanted to create a brand around, um, there's different ways like if you're trying to entertain people and you create a brand on Instagram and, and YouTube and then you can make money on ads and stuff if you wanted to do that. But that's a little bit different than selling. So, yeah. um, but if you wanted to document your journey, it's definitely something that's fun to do. So For sure. you could do it. That's what we do. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Um, hello guys. Maybe Johnny here. Awesome. What's up Johnny? <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I don't think we have, if you guys have any questions about, you know, flipper you or anything, um, we'd love to answer them. We just wanted to hop on for a couple minutes after our run. We're like, we should just hop on. Um, so yeah, so we're here. And we usually don't. And we, when we open the doors for Flipper U, we only do it a couple times a year. We love the influx of people jumping in. We love to uh, work with them um, and get the results from that. So we usually don't do it on social media, believe it or yeah. not. We do it through our email. We have an email um, of subscribers who like to know what we do and kind of what's going on in uh uh, flea market flipper. So uh, this is one of the first times that we've actually jumped on and said, "Hey, the doors are open." We opened them yesterday, um, and they close on Sunday night. Um, is when the doors close for Flipper University for the enrollment. So uh, we're and then we're having a sweet party Monday night for all the new enroll enrollees. Is that right? Yeah. Enrollees yeah. for all the new enrollees. We're doing that, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. So we're excited about that. Everybody who jumps in, in the next couple of days, um, it's a Zoom party. We'll uh, we'll do a Zoom <laughs> party and celebrate on Monday night. So do we have any more questions that we we're going to go over? Um, I don't think so. Cool. No, yeah, I don't think so. Sweet. Um, well, wait, how many times do you sell large items on eBay and a buyer picks it up? Um, it, it, it's kind of hit or miss. Whatever, if they're close to you and they find it, um, yeah, we've done it uh, many times throughout the years. Um, but normally, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the whole process is when people see it in other states um, and they can't find it in their local market, they're, you usually – that's what really what works really well because you're willing to ship it to them. So um, if you're willing to ship, that's awesome. And if somebody's local finds it for on some weird occasion, then yeah, they can pick it up. That wheelchair that I told you we got out of the trash, um, that was actually local. I was willing to ship it. Um, I was going to charge to ship that one, um, and I didn't do free shipping on it. But somebody locally found it, and they saved on the shipping, and they came and picked it up. So um, I'm trying to think of some other large items that we've done. I sold a big boat that I don't think that would have went uh, freight though. I sold a big air uh, inflatable boat with a motor um, and that was picked up. The guy lived about an hour away and he came down and picked it up. So yeah, it's all independent on the, the sale itself, but yeah, it doesn't, there's no rhyme or reason, but I would definitely say more of our sales for the larger and the freight stuff definitely get shipped than local pickup. Um, and that's just because you're offering it to a larger crowd who has the option to buy at the discounted rate when you're selling it. Um, and then they want it shipped to them. So um, what is your average annual net income and gross? So we were really good about posting these on our blog for a couple years. Um, they actually are, if you looked up some of our income reports, they're on there for, um, when we were part-time and then full-time. Our first year full-time, we hit 133,000 gross. And I think it was just at a hundred net. And then last year we have been focusing a little bit more on the coaching part. Um, then the flipping last year was... 79,000 gross, which I think was 68 net. Yeah. Um, but the numbers are on our blog. So if you wanted to look them up, you could, the research, yeah, you could yeah. do a flipper university or yeah. uh, what do we flea do? market flipper income reports. Um, when we so. started keeping track the first year, we were what at 50 or 60,000 part time? Part time was 42,000. 42. Okay. And then when we jumped into it and started doing freight shipping, that's when we jumped over 100,000. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, the freight shipping is the big deal. That and is we also were spending money. more time doing it because yeah. we were doing it full time. And that's what we found for freight shipping because we needed to be making more money because both of our and like both of our jobs went away. Were, went away. So we're like, okay, we gotta figure something out. We've got three little kids at home, a newborn baby, yeah. what are we gonna do? So that's why we were forced into or like kind of pushed into it. Yeah. And the freight shipping was a good option for us. But even so. a couple flips this year, guys, one one flip alone that we should clear over a hundred thousand dollars this year. Um, and then we have a couple of the other flips that we, we love to do anywhere from 10 to $20,000 flips. 
um, on single items. Uh, the bus wash that some of you guys might know about that we bought uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, that bus wash will should uh, bring us in a profit over probably $13,000. Um, so yeah, you can see you do a couple of those a year and your income's just, it's huge. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 like I said, the potential is endless for when you're out there shopping and finding items, um, and you're willing to ship them, the potential, the potential is endless. You can, you can make a great income at this business. Um, and we'll do this the rest of our lives. Yeah. We're coaching, uh, coaching aside. I love coaching. And I love seeing the results that people get out of this business and knowing, uh, that we had a hand in trying to. Um, teach them a new skill set. That, that's amazing to me. I absolutely love that. Um, so we'll do that the rest of our lives and we'll actually flip because I am wired. I'm designed uh, to find amazing deals. It, I love the flea market. I love thrift stores. Um, I love yes. the apps. I love all this stuff. I love the thrill of the hunt. Um, and so we'll, I'll do it, you know, until I die, I, I'll just be looking for items that I can make great deals on. They'll get bigger and bigger, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I'd love to get into some big, heavy equipment. I love to get into airplanes. I love to get into all that kind of stuff. We and a seaplane while we were doing a sourcing call with yeah. our members on what Wednesday. While we travel, so. I almost bought a gyrocopter. So a helicopter that I, but I don't, we're not, no, I couldn't fit it in the uh, no. trailer. So, um, but that's just the kind of stuff that I love. I enjoy. So no matter what, we'll, we'll always be flipping. I, I absolutely love the thrill of finding the deals and flipping them. So it's pretty fun. So. Um, Sheldon asks, I'm a, I'm a member of Flipper U. I noticed you get badges for sales and goals milestone. How do I get in on that? We do. We have a Pro Flipper Club. Um, I posted the link the other day. Um, I'll make sure to post the link again in the group. Um, it, it's actually on our website too. As long as you're a member, then you get in there. Um, it's our Pro Flipper Club. So we have milestones if you hit the 1K and then 5K and then 10K and then 100K is our next one. So um, so yeah, we like to- 100K yeah. is a free cruise. <laughs> is Stacy still on here? I don't know. <laughs> Stacy's going to be our first 100K. Yeah, no, so yeah, we have just some fun, like we do these shirts for the 1K Club and they're a lot of fun, so Pro Flipper shirts and, um, yeah. and just some goodies and it, it's a lot of fun. The so, community's cool, yeah, guys. Yeah, we you love guys, to celebrate yeah. everybody's milestones and that, like that first 1K is the biggest one really it is. because that getting started is usually the hardest part, like just getting momentum, getting going and really getting past your limiting beliefs. So a lot of times it can be your own, you're getting in your own way. You're afraid of not doing it perfect. So then you're afraid to start. And so that's like celebrating that first 1K is so much fun yeah. because you've gotten past that. Now you can start to really, I mean, there'll always still be other things that come up, but you've gotten past that initial starting point. Yeah. So I think that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's really cool. But I'll make sure that I post that in the group. Um, you are in the group, Sheldon, right? So it's, it's under our Pro Flip. If you search Pro Flip a Club, you'll probably find the links in there, in the group. Um, what's the best way to sell antiques? Um, antiques are a little bit harder. Uh, if you can find comps and you can find some other stuff on eBay, I definitely would do eBay. Um, the other, yeah, I don't, it's super expensive antiques and stuff like that. I We've never really got into that that niche, so I can't really give you great advice on that. The normal stuff like antique, um, sewing machines, antique, what, uh, some furniture and stuff like that. We have sold that kind of stuff and we sell it on eBay. It's better. Um, a lot of the stuff, the antiques, it's hard to find other people that have that exact antique. So it's hard, hard to find, come up with a comparable price that you need to be asking. Um, but in some cases that's good. Some cases, if you don't have anything that you can comp, um, do a comp with, you can, you can ask, ask a little it. bit more money because nobody else it's knows unique. it is. Nobody else has it or nobody else knows. So yeah, antiques are a little hard. I mean, we sell almost, what, 80 to 90% of our stuff on eBay because we love eBay and it reaches so many people. So that's where I would tell you to start um, and then maybe seek out some local uh, antique dealers or um, maybe uh, um, and you can get appraisers. people to come price, yeah. price it, if, yeah, appraisers if you want. But like those, uh, I got a set of nightstands in the Keys last time when we were down there at a yard sale for $20, $40. They were $20 each and sold them for $400 in yeah. the set. Um, on eBay and we did nothing to them. They were just antique. One even had like a little cut on the top of it, but they looked really cool they and they were just unique and I can't really find comps on them. I'm, they had good bones and they were unique. Yeah. And the, I don't even remember if there's a brand on them or not. I don't think so. Um, but somebody liked them and they saw them on eBay and bought them. Yep. So it, yeah, there's definitely a market for it. So. For sure. That's where um, I would start. So I start with eBay, seeing if you can find comps, finding somebody else who has similar uh, items for sale and then go from there. Um, and if you want to reach out in your local areas for appraisers or uh, antique dealers, you can always take it to them and get an, a good idea of what they think it is. Uh, have them give you a, a price. And then I still, even if once you know a price, I think I would still go um, and sell it on eBay, to be honest with you. Or I would at least offer it on eBay because uh, eBay reaches so many people. That's why we 
80 to 90 percent of our business comes on eBay. So. Um, I already got some cool info. Rob, help me understand the importance of sending offers and not being able to uh, be afraid to ask for the price you want to pay. Awesome. Yeah. The, and the money is made in the buy. And if it's not there, like if you guys can't, walk do it, yeah, there's no reason that you can't yep. walk away. So, um, so That's yeah, it. it's and a you'll huge find part. Of, yeah, you'll find tons of stuff that you'll get and you'll find tons of stuff that you won't get, but just can't be attached to it. Put out that offer. They say no. Uh, walk away. Be willing to walk away from it. I do the same thing in the flea market. If I know the price I want to spend on it, and I, they won't come down to it. I walk away. And sometimes they'll come after me and tell me, okay, take it. And sometimes they don't, but you just have to be willing to walk away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, she's, she's packing for the cruise. Awesome. <laughs> Mark asks a cruise to where? Mark's from Canada. So, yeah. yeah. Somebody had a question about is, is it viable Canada. in Canada? Yeah. So, uh, Mark's definitely proof. He's been doing awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Grace said, where, is it, where are they going? So, oh. <laughs> Um, awesome. Gyrocopter. Yeah, no, we're not getting any helicopters. Yeah. Or I, we almost did that. That was no. when the van broke down. So it kind of threw us off our rhythm. <laughs> Otherwise I probably would have got that, that gyrocopter if no. I could have, if I could have fit in the trailer. So you would have been on top of your <clears> car <throat> or something. What else you got? Hi guys, I'm starting at flea markets. What are your top three categories and most profit items when you go to flea markets? Big stuff. <laughs> Look for that big stuff that they cannot sell anywhere else. That's what we do is, uh, that's why freight shipping works so well for us. Uh, jump into the big items, uh, whether it's exercise equipment. Um, we've done really well at exercise equipment. Some stuff you can ship in a box. Some stuff you have to throw on a pallet. Uh, commercial, um, it, yeah, if you're looking for high profits, it's it's bigger stuff. It's commercial uh, restaurant equipment, uh, that kind of stuff that people are buying from local storage auctions and they're bringing it to the flea market. Um, that's Those are the those are the items, really. When you want to start making money or you need to make a lot of money, jump into the freight. The freight is where the money is, for sure. And I like... Um the I like strollers. That's one of the thing that I gravitate towards. The yep. high end brand brand is everything. So knowing like high end brands, um, I always have my eye out for those because we'll see them every once in a while for pretty cheap at a, the flea market. Yep. So. Um, what does he get? Um, always the posty inside dressers and nightstands with hidden treasures taped inside. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you could definitely find some. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. Have you ever consigned items at a local auction house? To a local auction house. We have not. We buy it from, uh, there was a local yeah. auction house that we would buy from, um, but I we've never actually given them items to sell. Um, and we've never even set up at the flea market either. We've never actually sold stuff at the flea market. Once once or twice a year, we'll actually do a yard sale to try and liquidate some stuff if we need to. Um, <clears throat> but it's not stuff that we'd sell on eBay. It's stuff that we would, uh, um, yeah, it's just smaller items or smaller um, profit items, just littler stuff, more of kids' toys and stuff like that. So, But we've never really... No, consigned anything that I'm aware of. So yeah. most of it's just on eBay. That's where the sales come from. Yep. I think that's very sweet. Good. Yeah. I hope I caught them, caught up to them. Awesome. Sorry, they're hard to read sometimes. <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah. Well, that's why we wanted to jump on here, guys, and just kind of give you an idea of what, uh, well, we just opened the doors for uh, Flipper University. So we wanted to let people know that it was open and let you let people know what it, who it's for. Um, and we have all different types. Uh, you can see some of the people in Flipper University are in here right now. So um, it's for anybody, yeah. anybody, if, if, if you want to. There's so many different professions that it is. Have, have done it on the side. And it's like business people, you know, CPAs, nurses. We've yeah. had two nurses go full time just recently. Um, and it's heavy equipment drivers. Yeah. Like Brandon. Yeah. There's a, killing it with freight stuff. So yeah, there's a, no, there's a, there's a wide range, but to be honest with you guys, it is, if you love to shop and find those deals, <laughs> if you love that, to find deals, that is the really, one. it's it, that you one, have to have a little passion for it. It is. It's like, that's 50% of what we do is finding those deals and looking for those are all of our money is made on the buy. That's where we make the money is when we buy the item for the right price. Um, and then selling it is just, you know, finishing up the uh, transaction. So, um, if that's, if that's you, I mean, this definitely could be viable. It could be a good, a good, uh, jump for you or a good, um, side business or even full-time business. So, yeah. um, you saw Stacy, Stacy's, uh, she's still doing nursing a little bit, but very, very seldom. And she's making way more money flipping. Um, and she's amazing at it. So, um, we have quite a few people in the group. Brandon's been killing it, uh, in his sales. Um, I'm trying to think of some other people who I could, who I could call out, but it's just it, honestly, guys, it, it, if you enjoy finding good deals and shopping, um, you could really make this a new business. And there is, don't, don't get me wrong. It's not a get rich quick. You're not going to get out there and start making thousands and thousands of dollars. You got to pay your dues. You have to get some experience under, you got to learn some, uh, some skills, but at the same time, it's a very doable. It's something yes. that you can anybody spend can the time. Do it. That's exactly. what, the one thing that's awesome is anybody can do. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't yeah. matter, you know, whatever skills you have, like you can learn, anybody can learn these skills, mm -hmm. which is really cool. 
So look at me, I barely passed high school. <laughs> But I love flipping and we do great at it. We're yeah, we, 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 we absolutely love it and we do, do great. And this is how we provide for our family. And, so, and we have a, a membership group to help answer questions to true. help you along the way. So we have, we have veteran flippers in there that are helping answer questions and then the people that are, you know, as they're going and it's, it's really a great community to, to learn from. So. For sure. Um, but I did post a link. So if anybody is interested to jump in, we are closing the doors on Sunday um, so we can get things moving on Monday and help people out. So, that's it. All right. That all right. That? That's it. You guys rock. Have a great day. Go find some cool stuff to flip. <laughs> yep. And we will talk to you soon. All right. See you guys. See ya. Bye.